Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you are new, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave, that would be amazing. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to be basically showing you guys my Charlotte Tilbury blusher collection because I do actually own every single shade. So I thought this video would be super helpful if anyone is looking into buying a Charlotte Tilbury blush and is just stuck on which shade to get and wants to know kind of what they look like more in real life. I am filming this with natural lighting as I've been doing in quite a lot of my recent videos so this is going to be quite true to colour, quite true to life as well. So I have all eight powder blushes here. So these are called the Cheek to Chic blushes and these retail for £30. If you haven't seen them before, I'm sure you already have if you've clicked on this video, but this is what the blushes all look like. Obviously they're all different shades, but they all have this same form where they have one colour on the outside ring and then a colour in the centre. So the idea behind that is that you would use the outside colour on the kind of majority of your cheek and then the inside colour more as a pop of colour in the centre. To be honest I think that's a bit of a gimmick and kind of like a novelty. I don't ever do that personally. So I just usually kind of like swish my brush in both colours and apply it that way or you can use the colours separately as well as you kind of wish. I am also going to be talking about the cream blushes in this video as well. So these are the Hollywood Beauty Light ones. If you're only just interested in these I'm going to be talking about them last so I'll leave a little timestamp on the screen here of when I start talking about the cream blushes. I did film this makeup for a short instant Instagram videos if you're interested to see how I got this look then make sure to follow me on my Instagram it's just maggieann.n I post on there every single day so yeah I'm a lot more active on there than I am here on YouTube but yeah without further ado let's just get on into the video So the first blush I'm going to talk to you about is called First Love and this is actually the palest blush that Charlotte Tilbury does. So as you can see this is a very kind of muted pale pink. This is perfect for anyone with a skin tone similar to my own actually, someone who's quite fair and pale and just wants a little bit of a kind of wash of colour that's not going to be too intense. Maybe if you're a little bit scared of blusher but you want to kind of get into using it, this is a really good one to start off with because it's nice and sort of pale and you can't really go too overboard with this. I really really like using this for more natural makeup so when I don't want to wear like a lot of blush I like to use this one um, just on kind of like an everyday basis I think it works perfectly and it's also very neutral so it goes well with kind of like any makeup any eye makeup any lip color anything like that to be honest this one really doesn't show up that well in the swatch just because it is such a fair blush so the swatch doesn't look great to be honest but this does show up on the skin when you've got like your full foundation on so I would really really recommend this one even though you can't really see it in the swatch that I've done that's kind of annoying but yeah it does work really really nicely on the skin I promise so my next probably kind of like most used blush I'm not really going to be doing these in any kind of particular order I'm going to kind of try to go as best I can like palest to darkest but um yeah I'm going to kind of just see what ends up happening so this is kind of like my next most used charlotte tilbury blusher and this is in the shade ecstasy this one is definitely more of a pinky coral blush it's definitely a little bit brighter than first love this has definitely got that more peachy tone to it so if you're someone that prefers more of a peach than a pink you would definitely definitely prefer this but it is still on the paler side so i would say anyone from kind of like a fair to a medium skin tone this would look really amazing on and yeah i get a lot of use out of this blush more so in the summer because i just find it gives that really nice fresh corally tint but yeah I really really love this and I use this all the time if I just compare the two I'm not going to be able to compare all of them in this video because I don't have like eight hands but just sort of to compare these two as you can see first love is very very fair and then you've got the ecstasy which is just ever so slightly darker and more peachy i thought i'd just quickly mention as well because i didn't actually mention this in the start of the video in terms of actual formula obviously i love the charlotte tilbury blushes i have all of them and i would 100 percent recommend them formula wise i think they last really well on the skin they're really pigmented without being too too pigmented and yeah I personally really really like them as high-end blushes go they are my kind of go-to my favorites so yeah in case you were wondering what I thought about the actual formula they are the OG. So the next blush I'm going to talk about is actually Love Glow and this is kind of similar to Ecstasy but this one is definitely more of a pink so this is kind of the same brightness as Ecstasy the one we just previously spoke about but this one as I say is a little bit more pink than Coral. I really really like this one for when I want a kind of pink 
brighter blush but it's not too bright so it doesn't give you that kind of clown barbie effect it just gives you that really nice kind of pinky flush on the cheeks i really really like this one i do pick this one up quite a lot i do use it on more of an everyday basis as well i feel like it goes with a lot of eye looks a lot of lip colors and yeah it's just a really really nice kind of pinky everyday blush it's really really hard swatching these blushes because the swatches really don't look that great i was really hoping that the swatches would come off better i feel like blushes don't really you know they're not made to be swatched on the skin like that i have used pretty much all of these blushes at some point over on my instagram because i make little videos so if you do want to see them in action i do have pretty much all of them featured on my Instagram so link in the description as I said earlier it's just maggieann.n so you can definitely go check that out if you want to see them more in action. Okay so the next brush I'm going to talk about is Pillow Talk. This is a slightly newer release from Charlotte Tilbury if you're familiar with the Pillow Talk range which I'm sure you are if you like Charlotte Tilbury makeup. This came out as a kind of side product to the lipstick and the lip liner that she had previously. This is a really really beautiful kind of more muted pink blush so it isn't as bright as Love Glow. It's definitely more of a muted kind of rosy pink I would say and this one's quite interesting because this has got a kind of almost like a highlighter in the center of it so as you can see it's got that kind of like paler glowy center whereas the other ones have a little bit more of a kind of brighter center or a more darker center this one has a bit of a highlight shade so what you can actually do with this one is use the outside as a blush and then the center as a highlighter so it kind of doubles up as a two-in-one so I really really like this blush for that reason it's just a really good blush to have and I would probably recommend this to anyone of kind of my skin tone or a slightly bit darker. Okay so while we're on the subject of Pillow Talk I thought I'd just quickly mention Pillow Talk Intense. So this is obviously just a kind of like darker version of Pillow Talk and a more intense version. Again we've got the similar kind of format where you've got that kind of nice muted rosy dusky pink and this one has got a slightly lighter centre as well that you could use for a highlighter. This would be perfect for anyone who is kind of like a medium to deep skin tone as well. I personally find that I can definitely get away with this. I do have to be bit more careful and use a bit of a lighter hand with this one just so that I don't get too much blush on and I don't look too dark but this is a beautiful beautiful blush for anyone slightly darker skin toned and I really really love this so if I just hold them up here so you can see we've got the original pillow talk here and the pillow talk intense so if you're someone that's slightly darker and you want the kind of same vibe as pillow talk definitely go for the pillow talk intense it's such a beautiful blush and yeah even for paler people like myself you can still definitely get away with this just going with a little bit of a lighter hand and you'll be absolutely fine okay so now moving on to the three kind of darkest and brightest blushes that i have from charlotte tilbury so these ones would be a little bit better suited to someone with a more medium to deep skin tone but you can still as i said with the last blush get away with it if you're paler by just using a lighter hand so this next one is called sex on fire and this still is definitely a kind of muted pink but as you can see this has got the slightly more darker purplier kind of center to it which makes it a little bit deeper and darker if you are going to swish the colours all together which is how I personally like to use them. I haven't actually used this one a great deal. This is actually one of my newer ones in my collection from Charlotte Tilbury so I've only used this one a handful of times but I do really really like it for more of a kind of muted dusky but darker pink if that makes any kind of sense and it's also got that little bit of a purpley kind of tinge as well so it looks amazing with like purple eyeshadow or anything like that. I really really do like this blush. Okay so the next blush that I have to talk about is called the climax and this is definitely a deeper blush this is definitely aimed at more sort of deeper skin tones but I personally really really love this one on myself if I just go in with a lighter hand because this one gives me a really nice kind of like bronzy blush so if I don't want it to be too too pink but I still want to have a blush on and I just want to go for that really summery bronzy look I always go for this one this one's got a really nice sheen to it as well as have the other blushes all of Charlotte Tilbury blushes have got kind of like a tiny little bit of a sheen nothing too dramatic or sparkly but just it's not completely entirely matte this one is no different it's got that perfect kind of like sheen to it so it gives the cheeks a really nice fresh bronzy look so if you're someone that likes that kind of more bronzy blush this one oh this one is perfect for you i absolutely love this blush i use this on clients all the time when I worked for Charlotte Tilbury I would always grab this blush on anyone who was like a medium skin tone it just looked 
amazing. Okay, and we are finally on to the last powder blush, and this is by far the brightest, most kind of daring blush that Charlotte Tilbury does, in my opinion, anyway. And this is, oh, if I can open it, this is called Love is the Drug. I'm actually yet to use this. I have used it in the past, but this is actually a brand new one. This, as you can see, is your typical kind of Barbie pink bright blush. So this is definitely for those people who like to go a little bit ham with their blusher and also like that look of a really bright kind of pink moment. It's not something that I tend to go for a lot. I'm only just starting to get into blusher like a lot in the last couple of months I've really gotten into blusher. So for me this is still a little bit scary but I have a kind of look planned for my Instagram that I think this blush would go perfect with and yeah this again would probably be better for someone with more of a kind of medium to deep skin tone but as I say just going with a light hand and you'll be fine and yeah this is a really cute blush, but it's just not really like an everyday one. I probably wouldn't recommend this one over the other ones that I've talked about, but it's still a really cool blush nonetheless. Okay, so that is it for the powder blushes. So now I'm going to go on to... Oh, sorry, I really need to swallow there. I don't know why. Um, So now I'm going to go on to the... These, what are they called? Hollywood Beauty Light Wands. Now, Charlotte Tilbury does bronzer versions of these, which I've got here. And she also does a highlighter one, which is called Spotlight, which is just a straight up highlighter. But she does also do these in blushes as well so i have four here i believe this is all of them i'm going to check on the website but i think this is all of them so i have the shades peach gasm pink gasm pillow talk and pillow talk number two so i'm just going to quickly go through all of these and swatch them for you guys i really do like the formula of these just straight up these are like a very glowy blush so these are kind of like a highlighter blush hybrid when you use these you don't always need to use a highlighter as well because this is kind of enough glow this is all you really need you can literally just pop these on the cheeks before you've powdered you can either blend it with a brush a sponge your fingers whatever you want and these give you that really kind of natural fresh juicy looking cheeks and yeah i really do love these for days when i'm going for more of a cream product vibe so i'm going to start off with peach gasm which is actually my least favorite out of the four and the reason for that is because it's just so pale so this one is a very very pale peachy shade so if you're someone that's very very fair or you're someone that doesn't like a lot of blush at all and you want like the bare minimum then this would be perfect for you but for me personally I just feel like this product is a tiny bit pointless I don't want to say pointless because I feel like that's a bit too far but I just feel like when I wear this I always feel like I want to go over the top with a bit more blush like a powder blush for example and yeah I just don't really see a point in using it if that's the case but yeah it's not a bad product the formula is really good but for me personally the color is just too too pale even for me to use okay so now I'm going to talk about pink gasm and this one is the one that I definitely use the most this is basically just the pink version of the peach one but this one is a little bit more darker and a little bit more pink obviously as the name would suggest this one works perfectly for my skin tone and it would also work perfectly for someone a little bit darker than me as well because it's definitely a little bit darker this one is the kind of like perfect pinky glowy blush I really really like this one I use this one all the time yeah there's not really much else to say about it it's just a really beautiful pinky creamy blush I already wiped the swatch off my hand of the peach cousin but I'm just going to put it back real quick so that you can see the actual difference and what I'm talking about so this one here is the peach gasm and this one here is the pink gasm you can't really tell too much actually putting them next to each other they really don't look that much different but by the time you've blended them all out peach gasm really isn't that noticeable on the skin whereas pink gasm shows up a lot better okay so the next one we have is pillow talk and i've actually only used this one i think once or twice because this is my newest kind of charlotte tilbury blush this one is a really nice shade it's just a tiny bit again it's a tiny bit too pale this works a little bit better as a highlighter in my opinion it's actually very similar to the spotlight which is the highlighting uh, one of these so yeah for me personally this isn't really a blush at all it's actually just a highlighter but I guess you could use it if you're very very fair and again you don't want a lot of blush but this is even paler than the peach gasm so it's not one that I would probably be reaching for all the time but yeah for a highlighter it's quite nice okay and for the last Charlotte Tilbury blush we have pillow talk shade 
shade number two so this is pillow talk medium and this one again i got this at the same time as i got the pillow talk um, original one of these so i haven't used this one a lot either but this one is definitely more of a kind of wearable blusher shade for me because it is slightly darker so i do get more pigment and this one is definitely more of an orangey kind of bronzy blush so i actually don't really understand why it's called pillow talk because pillow talk is more of a muted dusky rosy pink and this doesn't really translate in that in my opinion but nonetheless it is a really nice blush it'd be perfect for summer when you've got a little bit of a tan and you just want that really nice bronzy but flushed look and yeah really really like this one haven't used it too too much yet but i feel like i am going to get a lot of use out of this especially in the summer months okay and that is it for the video guys that is my completed charlotte tilbury blusher collection hope you guys enjoyed it if there is anything that you're still kind of unsure about if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to reply to you as quickly as I can. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And if you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.